Did I forget to mention that Kirby's Return to Dreamland is one of those games where the lives reset every time you turn off and boot up the game again? Yep, it has Mario Syndrome. It has Mario Syndrome. In more ways than one. Hello there everybody and welcome back to more Kirby's Return to Dreamland EX. So last time, we finished up everything at the Raisin Ruins, and today, we are going to go on to the brand new world that lo opened up. Onion Ocean! Because Onion Ocean is a thing. And as always in the Nintendo world, World 3 is always the water level. So, you know, it's, it's great. It's good. I like it. Anyway, let's go on. Stage 1. And, of course, we have, you know, the introduction of water type everything. Such as, you know, uh, our ability to swim is going to be, you know, greatly more used. Um, there's going to be all sorts of water obstacles along the way, of course. And, of course, there's going to be more and more stuff about water. <laughs> you think Hoenn is... Lo Hoenn and Alola are the ones- are the regions with too much water. Well, there you go. Anyway, new ability, ice. Frozen fro, give it a kick. Glide gracefully across the land with an ice skate, and then cool down those hot, hot flames. So just like with water, um, Kirby- Ice Kirby has the ability to, well, melt such hot flames, just like water does. And... The, of course, with the allure of ice, is that, you know, you create sort of an ice field around yourself, and you can freeze enemies with it. And once you've frozen the enemies, you can give them a little bit of a kick. Something that a previous Kirby enemy would do. However, Mr. Frosty is not in this game. Sad but true. I liked him. He has got a butt. <laughs> He's got a butt. If you look at his butt, no. We're not talking about butts here in Kirby, are we? We're talking about Kirby. And of course, Kirby is the main man here. But anyway, um, about this stage right here, um... You don't have to actually worry about, you know, any given... Nope. You don't have to actually worry about any given energy spheres for a while, actually. Because, you know, the first one actually comes in so late in this level. Um... During, I know during my practice, Set during all the times where I played this game. Um, I... I freaking forgot... I freaking searched all over for, you know, every single energy sphere known to man, because that's what I like to do whenever I play the game. And, uh... I always keep on the lookout for them, because, you know, they're the collectibles. I gotta look out for them. And... Whenever I play this stage, I always assume that, you know, it's at the beginning, that, you know, the first energy sphere is at the beginning of the level, but it's not in this one, in this case. It's just not. Oh, and also, did I forget to mention that Tornado's got invincibility frames? Yeah, Tornado's got invincibility frames, making it over, making it even more powerful as heck. <laughs> just like Hammer has that one attack where, you know, you press down, down and one at the same time. And you get invincibility frames as well from that, too. By the way, uh, we got a new ability here. Spear. That's... I believe this is actually a new, new ability here. Raise your spear and lead the charge! Bust out spear barrages and moon drops. Use it underwater. Spin around to take flight. Now only $5.99. Available from Hasbro. So spear is a brand new ability introduced here. And, uh, you know... It's basically like Cutter and Sword in that, you know, you have a sharp edge to it. And you can get down, you can cut down a lot of things with it. And, uh, it's pretty essential for some energy spheres coming up. And you do want to keep this around. And speaking of spear, um, if you have a multiplayer going around, uh, you'll basically realize that each character is basically an extension of an ability. Like, uh, Meta Knight is, uh, the s is just basically a buffed-up sword ability. Um, DDD is just a glorified hammer. And, uh, uh, Waddle D is the spear ability. Yeah, I know, it's crazy, I know. Like, Waddle D being the spear? It's so weird. But, 
it makes sense. Actually, it kind of doesn't make sense, but okay. You get to play as Waddle D, the bandana Waddle D. You know, the best one around. <laughs> the best man Waddle D. <laughs> the best man. I mean, I'm keeping Spear. I don't want you, Mr. Chili. I don't want you, Chili. You may have been a cute character in the anime, but uh, but to me, you're just another enemy. And oh god. Oh. oh. <laughs> yeah, blocking does. Guarding actually does have its advantages. Advantages actually. You won't take any damage from Gordos from it. So I guess that's neat. And uh, I believe. Oh. See the stars. That means we got another super ability coming up. And I believe this one is one of my favorites. Yep. Yeah. This one is one of my favorites here. Snowball. Look at this. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, yes. I love Snowball so much. Snow Day! Transform into a giant snowball and bowl down foes. Roll them up and crash into a wall for an ice cold strike. So... Yeah, you can basically tell that snowballs snowball is going to be a lot of fun. Because all you literally have to do is just to shake the Wii remote, and there you go. And you get to also play a little bit of Katamari. <laughs> when you roll up the enemy, when you roll up the enemies, like you basically get them all Katamari style too. So, yeah, where they stick onto your snowball until you know your snowball is done. It's honestly really. It's honestly like. A lot of fun, honestly, this ability. It's great. Too good. Yeah, boy! Snowballs! Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. And of course, and of course, just like any other given super ability, you want to destroy everything in your path if you want to get a hold of all of them coins for your, you know, for your pleasure. For your pleasure. Also, look at him. He's got a little bit of a snow cone on his head. That's adorable. That's adorable, man. Kirby's an adorable little destruction of death, or adorable little, like, pantheon of death. <laughs> he's great. Maybe that's why he's one of my favorite, like, series ever. <laughs> so yeah, you want to destroy that sandcastle with the uh, snowball, and that will lead you to the dimension. The dimension of dimensions. So now the wall is gonna come down. Oh boy. So you basically just have to, well, make it through each section at every given opportunity, I guess. Okay, okay. there we go. Just so long as you are fast, and just so long as you, well, you know, keep your concentration going, you shouldn't have any problems with this whatsoever. Except for those Gordos. Oh god. <laughs> yeah, like, Gordos are basically the arbitrary snowballs of the series. Or rather, the arbitrary spike balls that will deal like a lot of damage to you. So, yeah, be careful of them. That's why they buffed DDD with that in Smash 4. Like, that's truly the reason why. Because Gordos are basically the deadly spike balls of everything. You want to avoid them. Of course. Also, they're doing fire underwater. How does that pop? How does that work? It's supposed to be only- that's supposed to be like the golden rule of Spongebob. You can't have fire underwater. <laughs> Actually, you can't have fire underwater, just don't acknowledge it. That way it won't work anymore. But I acknowledged it in Kirby, but it- but it still works here. Like seriously. It does work there. Alright. Let's see. Ooh, Tornado, I want this. I want to just show off how great Tornado can be in a boss. And, wouldn't you know it, we have a brand new type, or rather the same Spear, spear Doomer. Well, okay, I guess I can kill him in one shot. Yeah, see, look at how much damage I did with Tornado, with a fully charged Tornado thing. That's amazing. <laughs> like, I recently only, I only discovered, like, only recently that Tornado is not only, like, very powerful in dealing with, you know, bosses really easily, but also... Because of the fact that, you know, Tornado's got invincibility frames, Kirby's not going to take any damage until the animation is over. So, he gets like a period of a lot of invincibility. So, you can easily just breeze through everything. Not to mention that it's pretty fast, too. 
It's not the preferred method of speedrunning, mind you, but it is still a good... It's, it is, it's still a good thing to note, actually. Still a very good thing to note. Easy one up. Very easy one up. Oh god, okay. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I'm, just, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm kind of cringing because we're near the... Okay. <laughs> so at least we got both sub-games unlocked here. So once the world is over, um, the next, the video after the world ends will be the video, will be the video of the sub-games. Okay, this is the level where I start cringing. <laughs> because, as you would have guessed, we have water levels. So, oh god. These are the parts of Kirby that I probably cannot stand. Well, they're not, they're not terrible, mind you. They're not terrible. But... They do kind of bring the pace of the game, the great pace of the game down a little bit for me. Just, just bear that in mind when you're, bear that in mind if you're playing this game. But, uh, I'll need something sharp. So, I'm gonna need sword. And, uh, going down here. Where you can actually use your sword underwater. So that's neat. However, one compliment I have, though. It's the soundtrack. Like, I don't really mention the soundtrack like a lot, but the soundtrack has been great so far. I really, I really like Kirby's Return to Dreamland soundtrack. It's one of my favorites in the series. It's great. It's great. And you haven't really heard like what what the songs are really capable of. Just, just you wait. Um. Oh God. Uh. Now's the point where I start to get worried. Uh, if I'm gonna miss like anything. I played this world like a bunch of times and I never seem to no actually actually no actually no like I don't think I'm missing anything I think I'm still okay I think I'm still okay because I really don't want to like ow I really don't want to like play any given level over again just to find out anything that I missed I do, I do actually remember where, uh, the first sphere here in this level is, so. Thankfully, I know that. And, oh, 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 right here. Crash. Shake the weird mode to build up energy for a powered-up explosion. You only get one shot with this ultimate weapon. So, hold one and shake the weird mode to your full power, and then just slaughter them all. Crash Kirby is just basically the screen nuke of Kirby games. So, yeah, whenever you see that, you know you want to pick it up. You want, you know you'll want to unleash the power. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, I do think in this part is, yep, right here. We got a new mini boss here, Kibble Blade EX. So, with Kibble Blade EX here, he will charge at you faster than the regular Kirby one, and look at this. I'm constantly building up power, and I still have that lightning force shield, that force lightning shield. It's so good. <laughs> like, that, that is a really good, like, boss killer for me. So, yeah, it's good. All right, so let's get Cutter here, because I do believe we're gonna need that. And, uh, let's do this. And you can get, like, a bunch of food if you want it. And there you go. First sphere. Pretty simple. Uh, I was actually, like, really... Because I know there was, like, a... I know there was, like, a few spheres in the, uh... In the underwater sections. I know it. And... Oh! Oh, okay. This is the part. Alright. This is the part where I'll need, uh, something sharp. So, just like the tutorial said, uh, you want to... You can carry your sphere underwater, basically just like sword. And uh, you'll want to keep this sphere. Just be wary of all the enemies here. If you get hit at least once by a powerful attack, or twice by any other given attack, you can basically kiss your ability goodbye because Kirby can't inhale anything while he's underwater. So, watch out for that. <laughs> That's my best advice to you. Just. Watch out for that. Anyway, you want to use the sphere in order to break this thing, in order to press that switch, and go through this door. 
because you're gonna have a bunch of enemies lying in wait for you here. And probably my best advice is to destroy them before you break open the things with the bomb blocks. And, uh, yeah, just clear them out, and then you'll get that energy sphere, no problem. So, yeah. So now you can get hit <laughs> by everything. Okay. So, uh, about more about the energy spheres, actually. Um, oh, this thing. Does anyone remember Super Mario Bros. 3? Well, the shoe power in that game sort of makes a comeback here. So, this shoe right here, or should I call it the cleat boot, I guess. I don't know. So, the cleat boot, I guess. <laughs> it's basically like the shoe power in Mario 3, except at the fact that it's got spikes underneath. And you can basically survive spikes while wearing this boot. So, yeah, it's another one of those things where it's like, where it's like, uh, you, uh, you basically have, like, a sort of gimmick here, and you can bounce off of enemies like this, should you press 2 at the right time. And you can break this open. Uh, the timing is a little bit weird. So, basically, you had to put, you had to, uh, bounce on the enemies at the right time, right? Well, it can be pretty simple for, you know, whenever you get, uh, whenever you bounce on any given regular enemy. But, Gordos are kind of another story. Like, here's the thing about the shoe. When it bounces off of regular enemies, uh, you do have sort of a, you do have sort of a little bit of a thing where Kirby pauses in the animation. Um, that's when you know what to jump, and I think the shoe is gone. Yep, I think the shoe is gone. Okay. <laughs> because I needed that shoe in order to... In order to get another sphere. It's like, shit, I was going through my explanation. I was going through my explanation and... And my timing was just a bit off. And there's no other way around it. You have to... You have to use the shoe. And I don't think I'll be able to make it in time. Actually. Can I... Curiosity. Ooh, no! Oh, damn it. Well, at least I think the shoe responds if it gets destroyed. So, I'm gonna check back real quick. And if it's not, then I'm going back to this level in order to get the sphere that I missed. Okay, let's try again. Alright. Get it! Yeah! There we go. There we go. My sound cut out. Oopsie daisy. <laughs> All right, so we got that sphere, and now let's continue on through here, through the water. <laughs> okay, so allow me to elaborate. Like, this level is not really that bad, because you have your mix of, you know, Kirby on land and Kirby in the sea, so that's not really... So it's not really all that bad, this level, but trust me, tomorrow when we get to the second half, when we go into the second half of Onion Ocean, that's when I'm gonna start cringing. <laughs> because I never, I honestly, like, never look forward to, you know, the second half of Onion Ocean. Just saying. <laughs> I never, ever look forward to that. So, yeah, you wanna be careful. Yeah, eels! Yeah, I forgot to mention eels. Uh, don't get in the way of their mouths because they'll suck you in and, you know, obviously they'll eat you. And the way to get out of that is by shaking the Wii Remote, quite obviously. Whenever you get trapped in things, keep in mind, you're playing on the Wii. <laughs> so, you have to shake everything. Thankfully, this game doesn't have, like, too much of the motion control. It's really only in the sub-games where it has, like, motion control. Honestly. But other than that, you just basically hold the Wii Remote sideways, like a good old NES controller. So, that's good. And again, Kirby dabs. Again, the original dabber. <laughs> before he started before he started to not dab. Oh boy. Alright. The cringe begins. <laughs> Alright. So we're done here. 
We got th at 35 energy spheres, so that means we got the high jump challenge. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Okay, the cringe will begin tomorrow. <laughs> Next time on Kirby's Return to Dreamland EX, it's the second half of Onion Ocean and the cringe. <laughs> oh, man. See you guys on the next time. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.